All right, so today I'm going to try to talk as little as possible and primarily just play music, but I'm going to play a, a few songs, sociological themes, essentially social problem songs. So I will apologize in advance if I put anybody in a bad mood because these could be depressing songs. But this first one is about domestic violence, although musically it's fairly upbeat, so feel free to get up and dance if you wish. Uh, but this is kind of a play on uh, Dick, Jane, and their dog Spot. It's a song called Sea Spot Run. <laughs> Sea spot run and sea spot hide from the hand of Jane Divine. Hear Jane scream and hear Jane cry in the bed with Dick Divine. Sea spot run to comfort Jane when Dick leaves after inflicting pain, but she gives spot more of the Across the face Sea spot run and sea spot hide When Dick returns from McIntyre's Hear Dick slam and hear Jane shout Their violence is a familiar sound This happens almost every night Dick comes home looking for a fight Because he claims Jane ruined his life When she became his wife Spot run and see spot hide from the pain he's sure to find. Hear Jane whistle, hear Jane call, a desperate plea for her loyal dog. See spot go to comfort Jane when Dick needs after inflicting pain. She gives spot more of the same. Oh, feel free to clap. I like the sound. Thank you. So again, lyrically, I always joke with that one and say, if you want to enjoy that song, just don't listen to the lyrics. Just uh, listen to the music more. And that's probably going to be true for the remainder of these songs. Uh, this next one, certainly a uh, difficult subject. I got the idea for this song from a couple different sources. One from a, song, a Billie Holiday song from the late 30s, <coughs> excuse me, a song called Strange Fruit. Many of you are familiar with that. It's a song about lynching. Billie Holiday didn't write it. But the uh, author got the idea from a photo that he saw, a post photo from a lynching. And if a lot of you are familiar with the book Lies My Teacher Told Me, uh, that book also talks about how a lot of American history books omit photos of lynching, right? and, and certainly uh, a horrible uh, part of U.S. history. So this is a song called The Picture. I was killed in 33 Dangling from an old oak tree saw it in your history book was your great granddad's life they took the blue eyed Christians gathered round to snap the picture for they took me down they took me down Since then I've shown up in your dream 
but it's not always as it seems. Sometimes it's you that they chase down. Their bloodhounds drag you to the ground. When you look up, what do you Pairs of cold blue eyes, or do you see me? Look carefully. You want to be free from your family history. When the white kids brag about their great granddads and the lives they live, all the things they did, and all they had. Now, son, the past cannot be changed. And there's no need to feel ashamed When you go out, hold your head high Know that I'm watching from the sky And all those men from the picture They now reside miles down below Pressing songs down, two more to go here. <laughs> this next one's a, a, a number about homelessness. Again, another uh, uh, subject commonly taught in a sociology social problems course. Uh, this one, I got the idea of living right here in Syracuse. A lot of you know uh, Interstate 81, and I don't live that far from it. And uh, I've seen a number of people uh, asking for money under I-81. So this is Man Under the Bridge. <laughs> My name is not important Why I'm here don't matter none You see I'm the man under the bridge Where my work is never done where my work is never done When you're stopped at a red light And I'm there right next to you You pretend that you don't see me, but I know you do. Yes, I know you do. Cause I'm the man under the bridge with a cardboard sign. What you give a dollar or a dime. My sign says I'm a veteran. I know you think that it's a lie could this bum 
have served this country and once have been prepared to die and have been prepared to die I've heard it said that I am lazy that I should just get a job another say that I am crazy and I'll always be a slob yes I'll always be a slob cause I'm the man under the bridge Cardboard signs, and I'll be glad. Take what you give a dollar or a dime. Wonder how. I'll spend your handouts when the day comes to an end. Will I smoke, snort, or drink it? Well, you'll never know, my friend. No, you'll never know. My friend, cause I'm the man under the bridge with a cardboard sign, and I'll be glad to take what you play one final song. Um, this one, uh, it's about my uh, home city where I'm originally from. I'm uh, originally from Utica, New York. Uh, but more importantly, it's about, uh, it's an example of urban sociology, specifically some of the problems that have uh, uh, at least uh, Rust Belt cities, cities in the uh, Northeast and the Midwest have experienced in recent decades. Uh, as industrialization is eclipsed by post-industrialization, we know a lot of cities like where we are right now uh, have seen serious economic problems, lost population, and so forth, and uh, Utica seems to have really gotten hit quite hard in upstate New York, so uh, this is simply a number called Utica. When they told us we're through I had 15 years Now the plant is closing What in the hell Am I supposed to do I'm 40 years old With two kids And one on the way Jobs are leaving So how can we stay I look around And can't help but worry will crumble just like Bosnia. I'd say goodbye, but I'm in a hurry to pack and leave you to come. Labor jobs have been disappearing from Utica for a decade or three. 
company says we should take our severance and go to college to earn a degree. I'll be 44 when I graduate with that degree. How will I support my family? I look around and can't help but worry. The city will crumble just like Bosnia. I'd say goodbye, but I'm in a hurry to pack and leave you to come. I stayed when all my friends left so long ago. Now I admit they were right all along. Dad, I know you must for leaving, but if I remain, there's no way I'll survive. For Zane generations have built this city, must have been foolish to think it'd be five. I'll be 99, long before the city rebounds. Green and poor plans have killed my hometown. I look around and can't help but worry The city will crumble just like Bosnia I'd say goodbye but I'm in a hurry to pack And leave you to come Don't cry You've all heard this story before today the price we all pay in the name of progress. I look around and can't help but worry. The city will crumble just like Bosnia. I'd say goodbye, but I'm in a hurry to pack and leave. It's now time that I leave. There'll be more after me who leave you to come. Thank you very much.